Fruit flies are small flies that infest overripe fruits and vegetables. If you grow fruits and vegetables in your garden, you can bring fruit flies indoors when you harvest your garden produce. Sometimes these flies come into the kitchen with fruit you buy at the grocery store, farmer's market, or roadside stand. Several other types of flies can be found in the kitchen, including drain flies and humpback flies, so it is important to correctly identify fruit flies. The simplest way is to look at their eyes. Live fruit flies have distinctly red or orange eyes. How can you eliminate a fruit fly infestation? The first step is to refrigerate or throw away fruit that you have on the countertop. Potatoes and onions are usually not refrigerated. These vegetables can be another source of fruit flies. Check your pantry areas to make sure you don't have any rotting potatoes or onions that could be producing fruit flies. Check recycling bins for fruit flies that might be breeding in fermenting liquid. Once you have eliminated all fruit fly breeding areas, you can get rid of stray fruit flies by making a fruit fly trap made from simple ingredients you probably already have around your home. To make this trap, you'll need a pint jar, a sandwich size baggie or storage bag, a jar ring to fit the jar or large elastic or rubber bands, one quarter to th one third cup of warm water, one package of dry yeast, and a teaspoon of sugar. Put the warm water in the pint jar and sprinkle the dry yeast over it. Swirl the yeast to dissolve it in the water. Once it's dissolved, add the sugar. The dissolved yeast and sugar will start working and will begin to froth up after a few minutes. This is normal. The foaming will subside after a while. Take the baggie or storage bag and make a funnel to fit over the top of the jar. You may want to trim the plastic bag to make it fit a little better. Use scissors to clip one of the corners just big enough for fruit flies to go through. Make sure you don't make the opening too large or the flies will be able to get out of the jar. Place the plastic funnel in the jar and turn the edges over the outside of the top of the jar. Use the jar ring or elastic bands to secure it. This will prevent trap flies from getting out of the jar. The jar will begin to attract fruit flies immediately. They will crawl down the funnel and enter the jar through the hole. Once inside the jar, they will not be able to get back out. Why does this fruit fly trap work? The warm water, yeast and sugar produces carbon dioxide, just like when you make bread and the dough rises. Fruit flies are highly attracted to carbon dioxide. When fruit becomes overripe, yeasts on the surface of the fruit interact with sugar in the fruit and produce carbon dioxide. This is the beginning of the fermentation process. Scientists have discovered that fruit flies can not only smell carbon dioxide, they can even taste it. The female flies trapped in the jar will lay eggs in the yeast mixture. These eggs will hatch into small maggots that will pass through several stages in the yeast liquid. They will crawl to the side of the jar and pupate. A day or two later, they will become adult flies. Their life cycles take about 10 days at room temperature. To prevent your trap from producing fruit flies, dump the contents of the jar down the drain after a week and flush it well with water. If there are still fruit flies in your kitchen, you'll need to make another trap. If the jar doesn't seem to attract your flies, you probably have a different type of fly infestation. You'll need to have an expert such as an entomologist or pest control specialist identify the flies you have and try to figure out the source of the infestation. Advantages of using this simple trap are that it's inexpensive, completely safe, and non-toxic. It works very well to eliminate stray fruit flies. Some people have used beer as an attractant, but beer only attracts fruit flies as long as it's giving off carbon dioxide. Once it's flat, the beer won't attract fruit flies anymore. This web show was developed by Barbog with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension.